Hey everyone, this is Buddy back with another episode of this streaming setup going online live video for basically whatever you guys need to know about streaming online. And this episode we're going to go over the mics because your audio quality is very important. So I get if you, at first you don't have that great of audio, you know, you kind of deal with what you've got until you got some money or something that you can spend on a better microphone so that it'll sound better. But it's really hard to focus when the microphone quality and the audio is bad. So this is coming at you teachers, at you people who broadcast live on TV, or even like the boss at work or something, and especially online streamers and content creators. If your microphone and audio quality are bad, people aren't going to be able to focus, understand you and just won't want to be there anymore. So let's get into the microphones that you guys could have to choose from and what you guys should really be looking for. So up first are built-in microphones. So built-in microphones, I'm gonna lay it on you guys, are not good. They're pretty bad. Unless you have a high-end laptop like the newer MacBooks that actually put a really high quality microphone in it, your microphone quality is very bad coming out of your internal computer microphone. It is not that crisp, it doesn't sound well, and you can run into a lot of kind of just muffled bad audio from it and I would not recommend using a built-in microphone. So then the second option is headphone microphones, right? Everyone's got like AirPods or Bluetooth headphones and tons of people are using them on the news and places that you see, right? Well, those aren't really the best option either. As long as you guys make sure that you're using that headphone for your microphone, which you got to make sure it's selected because sometimes the system will output the audio that people are saying into your ears, but then will not use those microphones for your voice and instead still use your computer's microphone. If you guys are making sure you're using that microphone from your AirPods or headphones, then it still can be okay, but it, they're really not the best option. It's really more important to get something else just because of the breathing that it'll catch you, it'll catch you breathing, could end up making your Bluetooth headphones actually sound pretty bad across the internet. So I definitely wouldn't recommend recommend those either. Now wired headphones are a little bit better because the latency is cut down a little bit more and more quality is kept through wires, but I still would kind of go away from using headphones as your microphone of choice. So that leaves us with the best option, which is an external microphone. So one that you have maybe plugged into your computer and it sits on your desk or something. Now, yeah, it can't really be moved all around. Like you're not gonna wanna take this out at the airport or something. These things are definitely the best option for the stay at home office working environment or streaming environment at your house. They're allowed to be moved around your desk. You could even take it off your desk and have it be on an arm that you could move around. You can have it have a capacitive mute switch so then you know for sure if you're muted in that meeting or not. It's got a lot more features as well and it can pick up your voice much better. So like with one of them that I got from Elgato that cost me about $130 called the Wave 1, this one actually cuts out a lot of the low background noises from the environment. So whether that's the fans humming, your HVAC or somebody mowing the lawn outside, the microphone will actually cut out that sound for you instead of letting everyone hear it. Now these microphones do range from like $100 or like $200 to like $30. And you definitely can get a cheaper like $30, $40 plug-in USB microphone to your computer and it will sound much better than your built-in or your headphone mics. Don't feel like you have to spend a ton up front. Maybe slowly work up if you're doing different things. If you're a beginner streamer, maybe only go for like a $40 mic to begin with. Or if you're a teacher, you really only need a $40 or $50 mic compared to if you're a hardcore everyday eight hour streamer, you might wanna go with like a $400 nice sure mic because you have a large audience that likes to hear crisp audio. But either way guys, the external microphones, definitely the way to go and will make you guys be able to have better focus, more attention from the audience, and just an overall more pleasant listening experience for your viewers. If you're still watching guys, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below. It's free, easy, and you can undo it at any time. But that's been it for this video, guys. Stay tuned for more of this series and check out the other videos if you haven't seen those already of the series since this is the third episode. But thanks for watching this one, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.